Okay, we have a GE microwave here. When I press the start button, you can see it's trying to cook and it counts down. The turntable turns. Yeah, I've got a kilowatt meter and it's drawing 8.7 amps. 8.7 amps tells me that the high voltage circuit is working, yet the magnetron is very likely not emitting and drawing current because it's drawing much less current than it should be drawing. It should be drawing somewhere around 15 amps if the magnetron was fully functional. There were about 8 and a 0.7 amps, which is much less than it should be. So that's going to indicate a likely bad magnetron. I'm going to dig further into it, but that initial assessment is very helpful with it moving forward, forward in this diagnosis. Okay, so this is a different microwave with the same symptom. Another hot point, GE hot point made microwave. Same symptom. Press start and it's running but it's not heating. In this case, the watt meter only shows 1.1 amps of current draw, which indicates that the problem is on the low voltage side. If it was on the high voltage side, if voltage was getting to the transformer, you'd naturally have over six, five or six amps of current draw. Since we only have one amp of current draw, it's likely this is going to be a door switch or something on the low voltage side that is the issue. So it does turn out to be a low voltage problem, or a problem on the low voltage side rather. Okay. And it looks like this door sense switch has gone bad. And I'm going to replace that door sense switch right there. And you see this switch here. The button on it is fully recessed and it doesn't click. The button doesn't even pop right back out, so that's obviously bad. It should look like this. We have the button right there, so it should click like that. So we'll get this replaced. Okay, so I've got the new switch in, and you can hear I'm pressing the cam here. Now it's actually clicking, whereas before it wasn't. So I'm going to put this latch board in in the reverse order that I removed it. We'll put this microwave together, test it. And then we will recheck the current draw. So this is our final result in terms of current draw. Got our kilowatt meter in place. And when the high voltage section is getting power, the microwave should be drawing somewhere between say 12 and 17 amps. So we'll go ahead and press that. There we go. 14.3 amps. That's right in the window there. So we have a successful repair of a door sense switch on the low voltage side. That's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel.